Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today I'm going to show you how to have a button perform a different action if you hold down the shift key while you click on it. So for example, you got an invoice button right here, right? Well, maybe if I click on it normally, it pulls up the print preview so you can see it. But if I hold down shift and click on it, it sends it right to the printer. That'd be pretty cool, right? Well, that's what we're going to do in today's video. Today's question comes from Travis in Concord, California, one of my Platinum members. Travis asks, how can I make my button in Microsoft Access do something different when I hold down the shift key while clicking on it? I'm trying to set up a form where a button usually performs a basic function, but I want it to have an alternate function when the shift key is held down during the click. I want my database users to be able to trigger different actions based on whether they click the button regularly or use the shift key. Can you show me how to set this up so it can distinguish between a regular click and a shift click? I'm not really sure where to start. Is there a way to configure this directly in Access, like maybe using an event or some kind of condition that checks if the shift key is pressed when the button is clicked? Yes, there certainly is. It's going to involve a little programming. So this is gonna be a developer level video. What does that mean? If you don't know how to program in VBA and you wanna get started, go watch this video first. It's about 20 minutes long. It'll teach you everything you need to know to get started. So go watch that and then come on back. All right, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can grab a copy off my website if you want to. And in here I've got customers and customers can have orders. And in here I've got an invoice button. Now normally when I click on this button, it takes me into the invoice report and it puts it into print preview mode because I don't like wasting paper, so I don't like making my button, so it sends it straight to the printer. But some of you do like that. So instead of having to open this and then click the print button, wouldn't it be nice if I could just shift click that button and have it go straight to the printer, right? I mean, yeah, you can make a second button, but that wastes screen real estate. And of course, real estate is expensive. So we can do this with a couple of lines of code. First, we have to either create or go into a global module out here. Now, I already have one. This is my global module. It's in this template. And if I open it up, you'll see this stuff, right? There's just some basic stuff in here, like a sleep timer and some other stuff. So let's, let's go create a new one. All right, so I'm going to go into create and then pick module, not class module, just regular module. All right, you get these two lines up top already set for you. We are going to put in one declaration to a Windows library function. Now I'm just gonna copy and paste it in here for you. There it is. Pause now and go ahead and type that in or you can screen capture it and OCR it or if you're a gold member, you can just grab it out of the database. But that's it right there. What does this whole thing mean? Well, you don't need to understand every single little bit of this, but basically there's a function called get key state and it's part of the library user 32 that comes with Windows. So basically we're telling Access, hey, I need you to go out and, and use a Windows function to get the key state, to get the keyboard state, right? So we can detect if a particular key is being pressed or held down. Now every key has its own code. There's a big long list of them somewhere, but here's the only one we need for this example. There it is. We're gonna declare a private constant called key shift, and it's this value here. It's a hex value one zero. Again, you don't really got to worry about all the details. Just it's, it's like the example that I give. You don't have to understand all of the pieces and parts in a car under the hood to be able to drive the thing, right? So I'm just giving you the basics here, and then we're going to learn how to drive it in just a minute. Okay, so we've got a function that can get the keyboard state, and we know specifically what key we're looking for. Now we're going to make a little function that's simply going to return a value, true or false, if the shift key is being held down. And that's going to look like this. All right. Public functions. It's public. So now everybody could use it. Okay. And it's is shift key pressed. And it's going to return a Boolean value, a true false value. And that's just going to say, okay, get key state, key shift. Okay. That's the key we're looking for, the key shift key. All right. If this thing returns less than zero, then that means it's true, otherwise it's false. This is just a fancy way of saying, uh, if get key state key shift is less than zero, then is shift key pressed equals true, else 
is key shift equals false. It's just a fancy way of writing that. It's a little shortcut way, okay? All right, so now we got a little function we can actually use in our database to determine if the shift key is being held down, okay? So copy that to your clipboard so we've got it. And now let's go over to the form we wanna actually use it on. So design view here. And in this invoice button, I'm gonna right click build event that brings me into the invoice buttons click event. All right, we need to meet out refresh either way. And here I'm gonna say if is shift key pressed, that's the function we just created, right? I put the little open and close parentheses after it so I know it's a function. Then what do you wanna do if the shift key is down? Well, I don't actually want to send this to my printer because I don't want to waste paper while I'm teaching you guys how to waste paper. <laughs> so I'll just message box sending invoice to printer like that. We'll just we'll just fake it, right? Fake it till you make it. Otherwise, the shift key is not down, and we'll do what we were doing before, which is just open the report in print preview mode. Okay, so as soon as this runs, it's going to check to see if the shift key's down, and then process that accordingly. All right, let's throw in a debug compile, make sure everything compiles, save it. All right, we gotta save our order F and our module. So I'm gonna say yes, and it wants us to save our module. Let's call this uh, key press mod. Hit okay. All right, close it, close it. Let's go back into the order form and click on the invoice button without the key. All right, and it opened up normally. All right, let's close it. Now I'm gonna hold down the shift key on the keyboard, holding it down, click, and there you go sending the invoice to the printer. See, it ran the function, determined the shift key was down, and did this accordingly. One more thing I like to do, I like to do this. I like to say, if the user hovers over that, let's give them a control, uh, a control tip text that tells them what they're doing. So on the other tab, under control tip text, I'm gonna say, click to preview invoice, shift click to send direct to printer because no one can ever remember all these little things, right? It's a training issue, but all right. Now, if I go back into here and hover over that, there's my control tip text, see? And it tells you what you need to do. And there it is, that's it. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, huh? Now, what about the other keys? There's control and alt as well. You can do the same trick with it. So you can do shift, click, control, click, alt, click. You can do control, shift, click. You can do control alt click, control alt shift click. Just don't do control alt delete. But <laughs> I will show you how to do all of those in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. So not just this one, all of them. There's hundreds of them by now. Definitely worth your investment. Gold members can download the databases that I build in these classes. And you get access to my code vault with tons of cool stuff like this and lots more. So yeah. And if you like learning with me, I got tons of developer lessons on my website. Come check it out. But that's going to do it for today, folks. There's your tech help video. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. And members, I'll see you in the extended cut. A special thank you and shout out to our Diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout-out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers Access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your Access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the video's up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more.
and YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90-minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. 
you'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.